listen up. Y'all, it's the queen of automation, Megan Donnelly, here to give you inspiration. Founders and business owners, gather round. I'ma show you how to build systems that I'll astound. Streamline your processes, no need. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Queen of Automation podcast, where we talk about why technology is only good when it works. Today we're getting geeky and a little techie with Nolan O'Neill. Say hi, Nolan. Hello. The owner and co-founder of now, I'm going to try not to butcher this. AccuXL CPA. He's the owner and co founder with his wife. He's spent 12 years as a tax professional and has a master's in tax. Welcome, Nolan. We're so glad to have you here. Why don't you tell everybody where you're tuning in from? So, I am from Central Florida. Okay. And I'm a huge believer in like this, there's no such thing as like work life balance, it's all just life, right? And I'm a huge believer in build for a lifestyle instead of build a career i would love to hear anything that's happened to you in the last six months to a year that's changed the way that you see your life or your business so it's it's really interesting you say that because i actually i don't subscribe to the concept of work-life balance i i see it more of like work-life integration and yeah. so um you know one of the things um that sort of tell my wife and I to, to start the firm is, you know, with when you're working a typical job, you know, you you really are tied to specific hours. Um, but you know, we have a family. There, you know, we have competing priorities in our life, and so we were really trying to get to a point where um, it's not that we're working any less, but we're probably actually working more. But, you know, we want we wanted to get to a point where if we needed to go to an event during the day or, you know, maybe, you know, one of our parents isn't feeling well, we can, you know, take care of them. Um, where, you know, if we need to log out earlier in the morning, we can do so. If we need to, you know, get our stuff done at night, we can do so. Um, and, and really just make things blend together better. Um, because there's, yes. there's 168 hours in a week. Um, but I really think that's, more than enough time to get done what you need to get done. It's just organizing that time effectively. I couldn't agree more. I uh, I like that. I, have, I haven't heard the integration used in the term, but I, I like that because um, it's it's 100% exactly what you just said, right? Like being able to, you know, you work when you want, how you want, where you want, you know, and, 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 and then the thing that becomes the most important is your family and your friends and that that should be the center of everyone's life. I mean, I shouldn't say that because there are people out there that they choose to be single and they choose to hustle and that's awesome. Like that's for them. But anybody who has a family should never feel bad that that's the priority, right? And should never feel bad that they're they're focusing on that versus building this gargantuan business. Like you can have both. In fact, I think those brain breaks where you take it after it noon off and you go to lunch with your wife, you know, they actually give your brain room to breathe. And then you come back feeling like better and ready to just jump back in. At least that's how it's been for myself. No, absolutely. I think it's a lot like, you know, no, well, I'm not a puzzle person, but let's say like, I like <laughs> doing, you know, puzzles. Um, you know, my wife likes puzzles and sometimes she'll, she'll get stuck and she'll like, ah, I can't figure this out. So she'll step away, you know, for a few minutes. And then, you know, she, she walks up and she immediately finds the, the, the correct piece. And I think a lot of times we get so focused on, you know, the details of what we're doing. It's, it's difficult to take a step back sort of regroup and, um, you know, get that clarity that you need. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, we're gonna we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna ask you my my magic wand question. This is the question that I ask everybody, and this is where the fun this is where the fun and the magic happens, right? So, you're a business owner. So let's talk about your business. We're gonna get techy and geeky for a second. If I had a magic wand, right? I had a magic wand right now, and I could wave it, and I could optimize one thing about like your operations, your systems, processes, kind of any. Any of that like nitty and gritty behind the scenes that nobody sees, if I could just wave something and poof, it went away, what would it be? So I, I went back and forth um, and I, I really don't know if there is a solution to this, but because I think the client communication, it's not that I love speaking to my client, right? Um, 
But if there if there was a way where if, if they asked me a question, if it could be, you know, responded to correctly, and then I could sort of follow up on that later um, and add a little bit more context or detail to whatever they were asking, that would be fantastic. Because, for instance, you know, I just finished busy season, and while I'm trying to turn out tax returns, I'm getting, you know, questions from different clients asking me just yeah. random different things. Um, and, of course, I always want to be very cognizant of, you know, the client experience and making sure they feel that they're heard. And so it's just a very stop and start process. Okay. So there are, are you finding, um, are you finding like, they'll ask you like a random question and either are you like forgetting that it's there or how are you, how are you collecting all of this data? Like, where are you putting all of the questions? Where do they live? In the practice management software. And so what, what, uh, project management you said, right? Yeah. What software are you using for project management? Can I ask? It's called client hub. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, my next question becomes, uh, do you have CRM? Are you, are you doing anything? So you're right, right, right now what we're talking about is customer relationship management, right? So that's, that's a, that's a big one for entrepreneurs like yourself or service-based entrepreneurs, especially when you're offering a service to someone, correct? And um, being able to keep track of all the conversations that are coming in and out, you need a two-way inbox, right? So if you had, let, let's, let's take this for instance, if you had a two-way inbox where all of the questions from everywhere, your social media, your email, your text messages, whatever communication channels you can think of, if they all landed in one place in a centralized location and you could respond to them all in one place, would that be helpful? Yeah, no, that would be fantastic. <laughs> okay. So, um, and that's kind of what a CRM does, right? Like it, it's, it's, if a good CRM system is going to offer you kind of, it's going to offer you two-way communication. It's going to offer you a two-way communication inbox, right? And not only that is it's going to offer you, it's going to offer you the capabilities to automate the communications in not in a way where AI or something like that is going to take over and start responding as you, but what it's going to do is you can tag and flag those communications and you can put a timestamp on them. So it will give you a task. It'll automatically give you all a task. For three days from now, it's going to say, hey, you need to respond to Megan. Megan sent you a question, and the CRM is going to then going to send you a task like, hey, you didn't respond to her yet. So it automates the tasks that you need, very similar to a project management system, but it's all client-based. It's all like, instead of being project-based, it's customer communication-based. So it's the same thing as a project management system, but it's specifically for your customers. So it's very, very cool. Um, a couple of those, like when you go out and look at things, like when you think about like HubSpot is a CRM system, Salesforce is yeah. a CRM system, Go High Level is a CRM system, Monday.com now has a CRM system built in with project management over here and then customer relationship management over here. So I urge you to check out systems like that. And I, I don't know, um, again, say the project management system again, what is it called that you're using? Client Hub. Client Hub. Okay, I've never actually heard of that one, which is surprising because I have so many like tech system things up in my brain. It's specific to the accounting industry. Yeah, so I would I would urge you to check with them first because they probably have some sort of API, which is that which is the technology. An API um, is the technology that connects systems together. So I would urge you to check with them and say, hey, do you integrate with any any pro or any customer relationship management systems, any CRMs, and see what they say because I can almost guarantee you they do. Because as you start to get bigger and your list starts to grow, you are going to find that it's a lot harder to try to do like relationship management with your customers inside of a project management tool because they are really two different brains. Like projects and tasks are so totally different than like communication relationship with your customers, right? Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Absolutely. That would be my my recommendation to you is to go and kind of check out, check out and do some research with um, some customer relationship management systems because that would be that would 
that would fix that and make your, it takes time off of your brain too, because then you don't have to think to yourself like, shoot, did I respond to that person? And like, I mean, I'll, you know, there are a lot of project management systems too that will probably, like you could realistically go into your project management system, can I, and just add like task notifications so that it flags you like two days after a question comes in, it's just going to start notifying you like respond, respond, respond. Um, the more annoying, the better. Honestly, I know that sounds obnoxious, but as a business owner, you wear 12 different hats, right? Am I wrong? <clears throat> so the more annoying with those notifications that you can get, eventually you're going to be like, oh my gosh, stop, you know, and you're going to go in there and figure out why it keeps notifying you and fix the notification and make it go away. No, this is actually fantastic because um, I've, I've actually been in the market for a CRM. So um, I, I'm aware of HubSpot. Um, I worked a little bit in HubSpot. Um, I, I've been made aware of Adio. Um, I didn't know if maybe there were, there were a few others that you could potentially recommend that you've seen good results from. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that we should, we'll, we'll have a further conversation about that for sure. For sure. But problem solution, right? Like customer, like that is something that I hear so, so often the, the communication side of the business. And that includes right, for everybody out there listening, that includes like onboarding, right? Like customer onboarding and includes not just what Nolan's talking about, but like customer relationship management. It's huge. If you are a service-based anything, service-based provider at all, this this is a game changer for sure. So good kudos for you for already kind of taking a step and like starting to research and look around because that is that is huge. All right. So before we jump off, I want you to tell everybody all about your business. I want you to tell everybody where they can find you, spit all your information out there so they can email you, stock you on LinkedIn, you know, all of the things. Awesome. Well, thank you. As was pointed out, my wife and I, we co-founded um, Excel CPA. Um, like she said, I've been in tax and accounting for about 12 years. Um, the majority of that time has been spent in public accounting and traditional CPA firms. I spent time at PwC, some other very large CPA firms. And I realized that the the client value proposition at most CPA firms is incredibly low. Um, most people talk to their tax professional once a year. And quite honestly, that's a huge disservice to the client because when you're speaking to your tax professional in March or you know early April, trying to get your taxes crammed in, the year you're filing for is already over. And so at that point, your hands are really tied in regard to how you can take advantage of tax planning or you know any sort of tax strategy is gone those opportunities are gone and so what we really focus on is walking with the client throughout the year identifying different areas where we can help them plan properly for the tax filing at the end of the year and also you know it's about being a trusted advisor and it's and a true professional extension of themselves um, and not just being someone they talk to once a year um, and just they don't see again for 365 days. Um, and then aside from the, the tax aspect, we also partner with businesses for outsourced accounting CFO services as well. So, you know, one of the things that's really impacting the accounting industry in a big way right now is there's a severe accounting shortage. And so one of the, my wife, she comes from a background of small business owners. Um, she's the head of finance for uh, a nationwide construction company. And so, you know, we, we've really come to realize that there's a really big need and there's a, and there's a huge opportunity to serve businesses that maybe, you know, don't have the resources to bring us CFO full time. <laughs> but they need that financial insight or maybe they, you know, they would like to bring in an accountant or two, but honestly, they, they don't have enough work 
to yeah. for someone to spend 40 hours a week doing. So what we do is we step in and we act as that internal accounting team or that CFO level person in the business um, to sort of bridge that talent gap um, for those businesses. I think that's awesome. Before before you jump in, I just want to jump in before you give everybody your information. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, everybody who's listening, I'm telling you right now, I will be talking to him because one of the things that you said that really stood out to me, you don't really know this until you start your own business and until you kind of go through the year. Because I said my, I, the one smart thing that I did, um, my mentor way back when said, make yourself a corporation. Just just do it. Just do it right from the beginning. Even if you're the only officer and you're not like whatever. And I'm like, okay. So I did. I made myself a corporation and I'm just going to tell you I don't do anything right. Like, I, got, I mean, I'm not ripping off the mandate here. Like, I do nothing right. I don't pay myself as an employee. I just take officer draws all year long. Like, because it's just me. And it's like, but the other thing is that I don't know what I don't know. So the fact that you said that, and it's 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 hundred percent true. We're busy, right? Like as business owners, like you and I, we're busy. You don't have time to like deal with technology and software and like trying to deal with that. I don't have time to deal with like so. I'm that person that's at the beginning of April. I'm like, oops, I have to do my taxes now, you know, because you don't think about it. You just don't. Like you're so busy and in the weeds. And so I'm I'm super excited to talk to you more about that because. That's going to be, I think that's going to be a game changer for all of your clients is having somebody, honestly, I just want somebody to tell me, do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this, watch it all year long, like make, put more money here, do that, like, you know, like, just, just tell me what to do. Like, that's not my brain. I'm never going to figure it out. I don't want to figure it out. That's your brain, you know? Absolutely. And for us, we really view it as, it's a shift in mentality from, you know, traditionally accounting services are very much transactional. So it's like, oh, thanks for your stuff. Here's your return. See you in a year. With us, we, we're trying to focus very much relational. So, you know, we, we want to get to the point where we are, you know, we know your business as well as you do. And so that way we're able to come to you periodically because, you know, you're busy, you know, running your business, growing your business, trying to, you know, uh, nurture your 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 audience and yeah, so yeah. you don't have the time to dig into the accounting dig into the finances just like i don't have the time to rebuild my car engine or the skills exactly um, i mean it's just if it's, my car it's, engine breaks down then i gotta take it to a mechanic because i'm not gonna know what's going on i'm probably gonna make it <laughs> yeah you don't want me fixing your car <laughs> just like Absolutely. you don't want me bathing for you <laughs> yeah all right. Tell everybody where they can find you. So our website is www.accuscltpa.com. And uh, my name is Nolan O'Neill. You can find me on LinkedIn. And uh, look forward to hearing you. Yeah. And we'll drop, um, we'll drop all of Nolan's information, too, in the show notes. Um, and this has been super exciting. I'm so glad that you decided to do this with me. I'm um, so happy that we connected in all of the different places that we connected and thank you so much all right everybody that's a wrap and we will see you again next week bye